So, that was it's Monday the 1st of February and although I've had the day off, I haven't vlogged anything. I've been sleeping because somebody got me up at 3 o'clock in the morning and 4 o'clock in the morning. She was up on, she had a bad, bad dream, didn't you baby? And she's been, oh, again, um, playing up. It's because you keep pressing the button here, don't press that. Um, yeah, I'll be back. So I have filmed my um, colouring pages for the month and done some other bits and pieces and now I'm chilling on the sofa with Jennifer and Paul and I'm going to start colouring uh, in the Jade Summer Emoji book because, you know what, why not? Jennifer is playing with her dinosaurs. What's that one, Mummy? Which one's that one? I'll do it now. Shall I have a look and see which one it is? Hang on. This is a... Oh, it's upside down. A Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Can you show me the T Rex, Jen? A Rex! Show me the Rex. Get the Rex out. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's the one. That's right. That's Rex. That's Rexy. I'm not seeing. Where's the Spinosaurus? It's there. Point again. Which one's spiny? It's there. A Spinosaurus, that's right. Uh, which one's Velociraptor? That. No, it's that one. Is it that one? No, that's Brachiosaurus, that's Velociraptor. Oh, more back shows again. Oh, maybe, I don't know. It's a No, that's a Patasaurus, that one. Wow. Who's this one? Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Oh, careful. Oh, sorry. And who is this one? A tops, Terry say Sarah tops. I think Rexy's eating them all, isn't he? Oh no, that's whatever that is. What's this one? Hmm. You philosopher, I can't pronounce it. Saurus. They got some funny names, don't they? Like your dinosaurs, don't you, Jennifer? I think he's killing them all. But Rexy is the biggest, baddest of them all. Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> tops go. Tops. Tops there. Oh, you finding him on the side? Yeah, there are pictures are there, aren't they? So it's coming up to nine o'clock and Paul's gone to bed. We're really tired. It's been a hell of a day. Jennifer's been brilliant. She's sound asleep. She's worn out. Of course, she was awake in the night. Um, I could stay downstairs. I've been colouring. I've already finished one page. But it was only like a straight marker colour. It was fun. Um, I've started a second one, which I'm enjoying. I've just been colouring. I'm going to watch some of the YouTube at the moment. I'm watching all the coloured pages. And um, I'm going to carry on colouring the picture I, I started downstairs. I hope to finish my Curry Rosanna's book, picture this week. Uh, this month there's not a lot to do on it it's nearly finished but um i've just started filming a unboxing first impressions um i've got three of those on the go now because i've got the mozart one and i've got the watercolors for the artesas i haven't done it yet i haven't swatched them yet i might do some of that tomorrow and i've just got the brute fooder 120 oily pencils apparently there's a 160 but 120 is more than enough i don't need any more than that so they came today this is the set that's got four very very thin um coloring books in it and they are so thin you'd probably just rip it if you if you colored them but i didn't buy them for that ball because i wanted to try the pencils so yeah um i'll give them a go and uh see how they are they weren't that expensive so there's a few sellers on amazon selling them so i thought I haven't bought supplies for a while, apart from monarchs, which are replacing my old monarchs. Because I do use them up a lot. I want to see what these are like, and I'm looking forward to it. So, that's pretty much it for tonight. Um, I'm going to put my TV on and watch some colouring videos. You will have to see me here. I'm so tired. I'm going to watch some hauls and some completed pages. Mine are ready. I've already uploaded them. So... I'll put one live tomorrow and one live Wednesday and then on Thursday I'll be uploading a colouring chat. Um, I haven't filmed a booktube video. I'm thinking of doing one. I might do it tomorrow night after I've done the filming downstairs because uh, that would be nice. I'll come up here and do it with the, the bookcase in the background. 
um, just to show you what books I've got and what I've read. I've got about six or seven books, new books. It's a very short haul, but it is worth doing. And um, But I did read something like 15 or 16 books last month, so it's really interesting. I haven't done a video where I've had to edit it together, so I need to go and get the pictures. I might do that tonight as well. Um, or I might do it just to do it tomorrow afternoon when I get home. So, yeah. I am going to do that. Put the TV on watch a bit of TV, colour a bit more of the picture I'm colouring and then I'm going to make a filming list of stuff I want to get filmed tomorrow because there's quite a lot I want to get filmed this week so what I'm thinking is if I make a list of the filming stuff I might actually get through it. Also I don't want to delete the bit I've just done on this Brute Finder <laughs> Funa uh, pencils bit, I don't really have to go through that again because yeah, no. Uh, excuse me. Huh. There we go. So that's it for today. That's Monday. It's the 1st of February and it's over already. Scary. Anyway. I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll do it all again. Except for I have to work tomorrow. Which is like... But yeah. That's how I make money. Good morning everybody. It's Tuesday the 2nd of February. I am at work. I'm eating Cadbury's white buttons. Because I can. It's not even 9 o'clock. But uh, yeah, I feel a bit down. I, I don't know. Perhaps it's lockdown getting to me now, finally. After almost a year, I've been fine. But uh, sometimes I just feel a bit. I want to be able to go out for a meal to the pub, to the shops. Um, but yeah, Jennifer was good to go. To, she didn't want to go to the nursery because she was tired. But once we got there, she was fine, which is great. So I'm just uh, putting on the day. Phil's not coming today to do the doors because he's got. He has to go to the dentist. So. Which is fair enough, he's got to go to the dentist if he's got an appointment, if you need a, you know, something doing. And, uh, but yeah, I'll be doing a bit of filming tonight downstairs while Paul's watching the football. And then I'll come up here and have a chill and watch some YouTube. I haven't even got it on today, couldn't be bothered. Some days you're just like that. I'm so tired as well, so. Anywho. I'll see you this afternoon when I've picked Jennifer up. Hey everyone, it's Monday evening. Nothing happened today at all. As you can see, I've had a shower because my hair's down and once again, I'm looking at the long roots. Um, I was going to do some filming tonight, but I'm really not in the mood. I'll go in for that minute. The only thing I am happy about today is this arrived. Now, this is not a cheap book, as many of you who have it will know, especially at the moment. But, um... Yeah, I normally I do a flip through of books, even if they're really popular ones I've been shown um, many times. And I was going to do some filming tonight. I might still do in a minute. But I'm feeling a bit down. I think it's just a combination of, of things. Not being able to go out and do things, see my mum and dad properly. Not being able to go anywhere outside your area. Not being able to go shopping in, in town, out for a meal, stuff like that. Also today it was announced that uh, Captain Sir Tom Moore has passed away um, at the age of 100. He had pneumonia and COVID-19. After all he did for us last year, he has lost his battle. But as he said, tomorrow's a good day. So it made me a bit sad, but he made an impact on everybody in this country and he won't be forgotten. And I'm sure his family are going to arrange a nice obviously quiet funeral private funeral for him obviously because you can't have so many but god if any person in this country today deserves a state funeral it's him it's him he was a he'll be remembered i think they'll be teaching when they teach kids about the pandemic of 2020 2021 in schools in the future he'll be a part of that history he'll be part of what is taught he will never truly die because as the Egyptians believed as long as your name is still spoken you never truly die you'll always live as long as you remembered you know so you know there are a few of those sayings throughout history I mean it's uh, to speak the name of the dead is to have him live again as long as one person remembers you you never really die and he will be remembered um, but that's enough of that for now because it's depressing enough as it is. I'm feeling down enough without having to go into, you know, that's, that's brought on the onion fairy, I must admit. It has brought on the onion fairy today a few times. 
So I'm just going to sit up in bed and I'm going to colour in Fairy Touch of Magic. Normally, like I said, I'd do a flip through first. Because I actually want to colour in it straight away. So I'm going to get my polychromos out and I'm going to have a go with those. I know which picture I'm going to do. There's two really gorgeous ones. One's a Christmassy one, so I'll save that for later in the year. But the, I know which one I'm going to do, so I can't wait to start. Um, I'm going to watch a bit of TV. I'm watching a channel called Geographics, which is great. Full of history, geology, geography, all sorts of good stuff like that. And then I might snuggle down and start reading this month's Stephen King, which is, of course, The Green Mile. Now, for those of you who are interested in what I read last month, I will just very quickly give you a rundown. So, on January 1st, I set my Goodreads challenge to 75, which is exactly what I had it set to last year. And in January, I read 17 books. So very quickly, the first one I read was called The Luxury Orphanage by Grant Finnegan. Absolutely brilliant book, at five out of five. Um, also, my mum's read it. She said it was really good too, and I've recommended it to Missy over at Binge Reader. Story about these uh, people who move into a renovated orphanage and are haunted by the ghosts of the children who died within. The next one is, uh, most of them are ebooks. In fact, all the rest of them, apart from one, they're all ebooks. Misspelled by Morgana Best. <laughs> These are all cosy mysteries. Cho Chocolate a la Murder by Kirsten Weiss. That is um, the fourth one in the Perfectly Perfect Paranormal Museum uh, series. An Occupied Grave by A.G. Barnett. Somebody Tell Aunt Hilly, Aunt Hilly She's Dead by Christina Miller. Mum liked that one as well. She read that one and enjoyed that. Witch's Brew by Morgana Best. So I've read a couple of hers. Pretty Little Flyers. Uh, by Erin Johnson, One Dark and Stormy Night, that's Night with a K, by Hermione Moon and Serenity Woods, True Confections by Ruth Hartzler, The Bookshops of Hopes and Dreams by Hannah Ellis, that's one that's sent down, set down in the West Country, so I always like those. Do They Know It's Christmas Yet by James Crooks, I like the, the premise of that is, they took a trip back to 1984 and broke it. <laughs> so basically they find a time machine, <laughs> so cool, in the uh, workshop of their, their late grandfather. It's built into a Sinclair C5 and they go back to 1984 and accidentally run, run over or knock over Bob Geldof or they're involved in an accident involving Bob Geldof. On the day he viewed the news footage of the starving children in Africa and decided to do something about it. So they run around in 1984 trying to put right this error because obviously if um, in, in Ethiopia and all those places, if he never saw that, if he didn't see that footage he would never get to um, form a band aid, do live aid, have a song do they know it's Christmas and we wouldn't be aware of, of the problems going on in that time. And there were other, th other interesting things about, uh, they go back to the day that the, the sister was born because her father um, missed it and wished he could go back so they are, so he would be present and they f fix it, sort of fix it but then they find out something else. So. Dreamcatcher by Stephen King. Oh my god, that was a long book, but so good. I do like a bit of Stephen King. Um, I have seen the film. The film is dire. In fact, I didn't understand the film. Now reading the book, I can't see any resemblance to the film that I watched. Or perhaps I fell asleep in it and missed it all. Good book. I read some more by Grant Finnegan of the Luxury Autumn Plane. Uh, Flight 19 by Grant Finnegan and Flight 19 Part 2. Uh, this premise is the story of a plane, Flight 19, flying from Honolulu to Los Angeles when um, it disappears in 2019. Yeah. However, it appears exactly the same time five years later in 2024 and it's the story of how they go about adjusting to life in 2024, how their lives have irrevocably changed because say for instance they were married their husbands had them declared dead and remarried some of their families have died or gone missing and things like that part two continues the story but in this one they've taken the same plane and they've gone back but this time they haven't gone back to 2020 uh, sorry to 2019 they've gone back to 2021 which is this year <laughs> no covid though which is good. Uh, Grant Finnegan's seven list this is set in Australia he is in fact uh, an Australian person 
he lives in Australia and uh, it's about a book that has the name of every living person in it and it's only their names only in there while they live and uh, uh, once they die the name disappears from the book however you can change the time and date of the death by changing it by 26 years so so for instance if you were due to die on your 27th birthday they could change that back by 26 years you die when you're one so it's quite hard it's very clever Barclay Street by Ron Ripley a ghost story about this boy who grows up in this house called Barclay Street which is haunted by numerous ghosts all controlled by one evil uh, child who was drowned in the pond they're not all evil um, but she does control them and his parents go missing when he's uh, at marine training and he's about to graduate and they were going there but they, they disappeared instead and he wants to find out what happened to them so he goes back to the house and he finds out so and then the last one I read was The Lighthouse by Ron Ripley this is Barclay Street Part 2 or Book 2 in this case uh, his friend Marie who is a police lieutenant um, asks him to help her cousin Amy because she's got a lighthouse and her builder who's reconstructing it and building it has gone missing and in fact he's been found dead and there are ghosts out there and it's the same sort of thing he goes out there to help out and there's lots of twists and turns so that's good I have now started book three in the Bartley Street series but I can't remember what it's called but I'll update you at the end of the month I don't particularly want to do uh, full book reviews and reading wrap-ups at the moment if you'd like me to do one let me know or if you want me to talk in depth about any of the books I've mentioned just leave me a comment and of course I will but that's it for tonight I'm going to go and um watch YouTube and colour in my book I can't wait and I'll see you tomorrow actually it's Tuesday today not Monday do you know what? I don't even know what day of the week it is Tuesday night. I'll see you later. Oh. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday and I finished work because I forgot to vlog before. I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> I'm really losing, yeah, it's Wednesday. Track of where we are this week. Um, Jennifer's home. She had a little fall at nursery and she's got a little scratch on her head, a little bump on her head where she banged her head, didn't you? Did you bang your head? Were you chasing somebody else? Did they stop and you just fell over, didn't they? Yeah, so they stopped and she fell over and banged her head, but she's all right. So Phil's here doing the doors, so we're going to just chill out in the bedroom and watch whatever's on YouTube that's children related, obviously. But that's okay, as long as she's all right. That's right, they hurt. Good girl. Yeah, there's lots of them. What are those? Elephant, that's right. Good girl. Okay, you like elephants? Yeah. Your granddad used to ride on an elephant Mommy long, come. long time ago. Mummy, come too. What, to see the elephants? I'll come and see the elephants anytime. They're, They're eating an ice lolly. Yes, they are. That one's eating a red ice lolly, so it's turning red. <gasps> this is my life. It's okay then. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Jennifer's sitting on the table playing with her dinosaurs. We've already made the Paw Patrol jigsaw puzzle and the four dinosaur jigsaw puzzles so now we're playing with our dinosaurs this is Rexy who's next out the box Jen? his mum one. Oh, they're having a cuddle who's that? me <laughs> is that you? Yeah. I don't think that dinosaur's you can we have a look and see who he is? Mm. a short it is a short one Brachiosaurus it's that one. Oh, but that was your nose. That one's a patasaurus. Patasaurus. Okay. Patasaurus. I'm making a house now. That's the dinosaurs are having a house. Oh, this is a little mummy. <laughs> they do look like uh, they're related, don't they? It's a, a say mummy. Yeah, mummy, mummy. What's it's next mommy? out the box? Baby. Baby. We've still got some left in the box. Who's coming out next? It's an old one. It's an old one. Jennifer loves her dinosaurs, doesn't she, Jan? It's an old one. It's good there. Yeah, what's it called then, Jan? It's the old one. It's that one, Daddy. Yeah, it's that one. How do you say it? The old 
one. Para. No. Pa Parasau Parasophilus. Parasaurolophus. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. Still weak to me. It's <coughs> more like that in. <laughs> wow. Oops. Who's next? Raptor. It's Velociraptor. Wow. It will, yeah. There you go. It's there. Is he going there? Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. Who's this? It's there. No, that one's Steggy. No, it's not Steggy. No, not Steggy. Daddy's over there, isn't he? No. Mummy, it's not Steggy. No, that's Steggy, isn't it? That one there, that's yeah. Steggy. This one is... It begins with E. It's not A. E, uh, you are... I can't read it, Lophosaurus or something, but I can't... No, there's not one. I can't see it because it's not on oh, the... this one. This goes, go there. What does it say? Uoplocephalus. No. Sort of. Uoplocephalus. No. It's this one here. I mean, it's it Yeah, it's that one anyway. Oh no, no, they're all dead! Looks like the uh, mass extinction event has happened. <laughs> Put them back in the box now. Again. Now it's time for bed now, Jen Jen. Not bed is not yet. Not yet? Or dinosaurs. <laughs> you play dinosaurs. Mm. And and Paw Patrol stuff. Whoa! Yeah, dinosaur. Again, again. Again, again. Apparently it's again again. Hey everybody, um, yeah, it's night time, everybody's in bed, it's about half past ten. I've actually been downstairs colouring in Fairy Touch of Magic, so I'm really loving that book. Um, I haven't done any filming again, I will do that tomorrow night, which is Thursday. I'm going to do a colouring chat. Oh, I'm not sure what to do yet, I'm going to have a look. Uh, maybe do a Marcus one uh, of Ava Brown. Perhaps that chibi book, maybe. I'll have a look at it tomorrow when I'm at work and make a decision. But that's it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It's Thursday morning and I'm about to start work. My battery level's running low, so I'm keeping an eye on it. Jennifer's at nursery. She was so cute this morning wearing a new outfit. She looked really happy wearing it because it had a hood and she had pockets. She had her hands in her pockets in her hood up. Like she's one of the cool kids. Hey guys, my battery ran out and I forgot to change it, so I haven't vlogged all day. I will try and do it tomorrow. I'm off to bed now. I'll try and remember the battery and I'll try. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday the 5th of February. I've actually changed the battery now, so it won't cut out. <laughs> I hasn't put that other one on charge. So I do apologise for that yesterday. Plan for today. Work. Finish work. Pick up Jen. Play with Jen. Dinner. Put Jen to bed. Have a shower. Go to bed. That's much it. There might be a bit of colouring involved in there. Uh, obviously it's um, my Friday, so it's what I call Finish It Friday. That's when I work on, um, not obviously the newer whips, although I, I might do at some point, but it is the day I work on um, whips that have been hanging around for a while to try and get them finished. So I've got Kobe Rosanis's, uh, I think it's Imagine More Thinner, one in there that's nearly finished. There's not a lot to do on that. So I wanna finish that one today if I can. Want to do a bit more on the Johanna Basswood calendar and start the next page because, you know, that's it. And then tomorrow I'll go back to colouring whatever I want to, whether it's in a new book or whether it's in an older book. I mean, obviously I am trying to, I've got a, a section of books that I want to um, colour in this month. I've put to one side out of the new books or out of the books that are on the unused shelf. Um, but there are also, I want to colour in some of the other things as well. So, obviously... Um, I just got to decide what I want to colour yet. Ooh. Anyway, I've got to start work, so I will see you when I finish. So, hey guys, not a lot's happened today. Um, Phil stained some of the woodwork downstairs, and I'm really out of focus. Which is great. I've uploaded my colouring chat. Took all day to upload. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Another one's upload really quickly. 
I was asleep, it's got midnight, I'm in bed. I was just browsing Facebook when I saw that Jade Summer's got a new book out and I just went and ordered it. It took me ages to find it because they, they never pop up. I have to, uh, but I found it and it, it is a kind of my numbers book. Like I said, I'm not clean on those, but the Jade Summer ones I really, really like. In fact, I started colouring in the Christmas one earlier today because I wanted to colour a, 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 a colour by numbers and I just picked one up and it was a Christmas one. But yes, yeah, so I've ordered that and I cannot explain how happy that has made me. It really cheered me up. It's really made my day because I love collecting and colouring books. And the Jade Summer ones, I really adore them. And I have got over 80. Um, so, oh, the pattern books, obviously, I colour in the most. I always colour loads of patterns, but I'm just so excited. And it's not got a long arrival date. Like, sometimes you'll order something on, like, a weekend, and it'll say arrive in the following weekend. This one's following Monday, so this is, like, two days away. And it might even come quicker than that. You never know. So I'm really, really excited. I can't wait. It's made me so happy. Um, I've been feeling so down that finally they've put a book out and I've ordered it and I, it just really really cheered me up so yeah I'm very excited I've been reading all day I have finished the Barclay Street book I was reading which was which one was it book three and I can't remember so the first one was Barclay Street the second one was The Lighthouse the third one was The Town of Griswold I finished that one and then I read book four which was I, know, I can't remember hang on let me have a look they're very good they're by uh I think his name is Ron Ripley but I'll, I'll confirm that in a minute let me just uh get into my goodreads and I'll, I'll let you know so my challenge yeah so uh yeah the first one was Bar berkeley street or barclay street ron ripley second the lighthouse oh no sorry i tell a lie the third one was sandford hospital yeah that one i found and then there was the town of griswold oh i think the other way around i'm not sure um maybe not and then there was Kirkow prison and then the next one the, i also read lake an attack so that's six of the, of the i think it's the box set of nine i'm reading and i've read six of them three and a half of them i've read today so my reading challenge is looking pretty good for february i've read 21 or 75 books i think i might be editing the goal in a couple of months i still haven't read uh, much of uh, any more of um the green mile or the jean harlow book i'm reading but uh, I, I will um i just spent the entire evening i, I didn't do any colouring this evening did some this afternoon with jennifer um and i've just spent the entire evening reading and i've really enjoyed it so yeah i thought i'd let you know about those they're really good it's ron ripley it's check it out he's got like a lot of ghost stories and i will be looking him up again when uh, i finish this box set and try and get some more um Mum might want to read them. I don't know. It's quite violent. Uh, she's in enjoying Grant Finnegan, so that's something who I also read um, in January. But uh, I'm going to head off to bed now. Hopefully the weather won't be too bad tomorrow. I'm going to get out and have a walk. Nice long walk. Mm. Anyway, I'm actually going to go to bed now. I'll see you tomorrow. Morning everybody, it's Saturday morning and yes, yeah, it's, it's nice out, the sun's out, it's not raining at the moment, which is great, it probably will at some point. We're going to pop over and see Paul's mum, check on her, make sure she's okay. Got a bit of a few things to pick up for my mum. Got a new book this morning, not a colouring book, although as you know I've ordered the new Jade Summer one, and that is... The Crimes of Jack the Ripper by Paul Rowland. Now, uh, it only cost me two quid on eBay and I, I don't know how much the postage was, probably three, three pounds from it. So it was very cheap. Um, it's one I've not got. It's too tall for my ripper book, so it'll have to go on the top like the other my ripper shelf, like the other one. But that's okay. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Every now and again, I do like to add a new ripper book to my collection. So, you know, I love my books. Um, yes, I must try and read some more of my Jean Harlow one because it's getting all crumpled down here on the floor. Ugh, there it is. 
so yeah I'm oh I'm almost halfway through this so I'll probably, probably have a go at that later I've been colouring in one of the Jade Summer Coloured by Numbers book but it's the Christmas one it was the first one on the shelf I thought the first one I come to I'm going to pick out and do so and I don't mind that it's Christmas it's actually quite nice to do so yeah so I know some people were disappointed that the new Jade Summer is a Christmas book but I'm not I'm really looking forward to it so yay right I'm going to gather up some uh, washing to take down to put on get some clothes for the little madam and get her dressed. So this is Jennifer's walls now. As you can see, it's all been nicely plastered. It's pretty flat. You always have some lumps and bumps in a wall like this because the, the house is uh, lumpy and bumpy as it's so old. But, uh, yeah. So we just need the button back up so we can put her rail up, a window up because she just keeps waking me up. As soon as it gets light she thinks it's time to get up. And get the walls sorted. I need ceiling. We're doing that next week after next hopefully, if not before. So it's Saturday night. We went to the pool's mum. She's fine. We went for a walk to the shop. Went playing with Jennifer. She's been kicking off this evening. She will not go to sleep. Paul's trying to put her back to her. It's like nine o'clock. All she's done is got out of bed because she can safely climb out of the cot on her own. Comes to the top of the stairs where there's a, obviously a, a gate and saying she's scared. What of, I don't know. Um, she, one minute she says she's scared of Rexy, so we move Rexy, that's her, one of her dinosaurs, then Do Doody, that's the other of her dinosaurs, we move that too. <clears throat> then it's Pet, then it's Teddy, then it's Dolphy, and she's not scared of them. She, she can hear her, I don't know, but my head is killing me. And I'm really tired, and I would like to go to bed for sleep. <clears throat> it's been a good day, but it's not been a good evening. Because, uh, to be fair, she had tea, she was good as gold. We played with the toys, we painted, and, and then she, uh, as soon as it's bedtime, she wants none of it. All I can say is my head feels like my brain is trying to escape. Anyway, I'll see you a little bit later. I'm gonna chill for a bit, I'm gonna bed soon. Hey everyone, it is Sunday. It's Sunday night, I haven't vlogged today. I've gotta to be honest, I forgot. We did our usual shopping, played with Jennifer, had food, and that's about it. I'm gonna take a week off from vlogging. There'll be no weekly vlog next week, so don't worry, I'm fine. And um, if I can, I'll post some videos. I've just got a few things I've gotta sort out. I'm gonna be trying to decorate Jennifer's room, so that's gonna take up a lot of my time, so. I'll see you in a week or so. Bye guys. You haven't got an egg? <gasps> Hi everybody. It is Monday the 15th of February. As you can see it's afternoon. Jennifer's home. Say hello. Oh, she's obviously being shy. And we're upstairs because she wanted to come upstairs to have a lie down because she's tired. But she won't go to sleep. And we're going to watch uh, BB Man, aren't we? Well, she is. I brought a few stuff on my phone. So. High five. High five. Hey, there, ink. Ink. High five. Good girl. Um, yeah, so I'll be watching someone else and she'll be watching Beat Me Man. So, but I'll be using my phone. So it's all good. I'm feeling okay. Not too bad at all. And yeah, we are going to watch some. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I've seen it. Some T Rex Ranch and uh, see if she'll go to sleep, but she probably won't. So you can see she's been pulling my hair out. I keep getting it caught in the car door as well. It's probably not helping it. So. Anyway, I'll see you a bit later when we uh, go for some tea. And uh, we'll see what else can be done today. What else is going on? Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. Yes, I forgot to vlog. You'd think after having a week off, I wouldn't forget, but I did. It's because um, I'm downstairs working now because we've got the... Um, and... Uh, the doors. And, um, yeah, the camera's upstairs and I just completely forgot, so... Anyway, looks like I just got up. It's like quarter past six. <laughs> that. So last week I had a break because uh, I found out uh, on, on that um, a very good friend of mine had, had died. I knew that something had been wrong, but I didn't know exactly. She'd had cancer apparently, and, and she passed. She was in her 60s, and I worked with her from 2006 to 2011 
and we were very close at one point. I even spent Christmas night with them at Christmas with my parents and then um, her husband picked me up, took me over to their house, spent the night, her then husband, um, with them having a laugh, having a drink, stayed the night, only brought me back in the morning on Boxing Day. So it was very, hit me very hard. And um, yeah, very, very hard. Um, so I thought, oh, I need a week off, I can't be doing that. I was so out of it. And on the Monday, Jennifer decided to get up at past four in the morning. So yeah, I've got a cup of tea because oh, I've just got up. And I was just starting to feel a bit better. Obviously, I was still very upset. And then on Thursday, um, I'm upstairs with Jennifer watching TV pools doing this because she likes watching TV upstairs sometimes. Sometimes we play. It depends on what she wants to do. Because <sighs> she used me. And my mum rings. And I'm like, what's the matter? She says, can you get me a number for Alpha that? I said, well, what's wrong? She says, I think the dog's dead. I'm like, what? So I get her the number. I said, right, I'm on my way. And she's like, do you want me to wait to ring the vet? No, 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 ring the vet now. I'm on my way. And I get down there and yeah, the, the dog's lying on the floor. And I said, what's happened? And she said, well, she started screaming and then she just cut, she lay down and, and that was it. And my dad said, I can't tell whether she's breathing or not. I'm shaking too much. So I knelt down and I put my hand to her nose, nothing. And I put my hand on her chest, nothing. I said, no, mum, she's gone. Dad, she's gone. So we managed to get hold of a, a vet, uh, um, another vet's budget vet, because Alpha Vet said bring her in in the morning. And I thought, no, that's not fair on my mum. Um, So they said, yeah, bring her down and ring us when you get there. And my mum, and uh, she paid for it over the phone. Back in a minute, my toast. Sorry about that. I had to eat my toast. I can't stand how cold toast. Um, so yeah, we took her to the vet and they came out and said, oh, what a big dog she is. I'll go and get a stretcher of one of my colleagues. Because I didn't want to hump her in and maybe drop her because she is that heavy. I mean, me and dad managed to get her to the car between us. Um, so they brought out a... A stretcher and took her in it was very sad all the while I've been stroking her and, and even though she's not there talking to her it was really sad and for mum and dad they, they'll hear that scream for a long time though I did read that it's just an involuntary response to the body shutting down and Rose wouldn't have been in any pain she wouldn't have known what was going on it was just she had a heart murmur when we got her as a rescue dog for five six seven years ago I don't know how long it was now it seems like we've had it for a very long time um and uh, I think it caught up with her. It was very sad. Um, for my mum and dad, they'll hear that for a long time. For me, just seeing her lying there on the floor dead was heartbreaking enough. So that, on top of the other thing, didn't help. And I'm still reeling. I'm not going to lie, I'm still reeling, but I'm feeling better. And Jennifer's been fine, so you'll probably see her later. Explaining to her what happened to Rose was a bit harder because she doesn't understand she's not death is yet, luckily. Um, so we just told her she'd gone away and we wouldn't be seeing her anymore. Um, but that Rosie loved her very much. And now I had to pop some shopping to mum on Sunday when I did mine and Jennifer came with me because I can't exactly leave her at home. And she didn't mention Rose the entire time we went mum and dad's. When we got into the car, um, we were on our way back. She said, where did Rose go? I said, remember I said she was going away and we wouldn't be able to see her anymore? Well, she's gone away, but she loved you. And one day I will explain it properly to her, so. I'm gonna miss big furry cuddles. Well, my parents probably won't get another dog at their age. My dad's 80 and my mum's 77 at, on the weekend. So. Me and Jennifer are going to be making her a birthday card, possibly starting it today, if my glue comes. We can start it today with the back it, the, the, the writing, and then... So it was a bit of a horrendous week last week with, with both things, so... But, you know, I am feeling better, I'm still very sad. Because it's very... Awkward. You know, you just. 
I mean, she was as much my dog as she was my mum and dad's because I was there the day they got her and took her for walks. She wouldn't walk very far because she'd been the way she'd been brought up. But she loved to play and, and she loved to cuddle and she'd come and put her head in your lap and look up at you. She was a lovely dog. Anyway, I'm going to eat my rest of my breakfast and drink my tea before I have to get everybody up. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday. This is not going well this week. I will admit that. I haven't done much at all. So on Monday I finished my Kirby Rosanna's picture and tonight I'm hoping to finish my um, um, Clara Markova picture. Is that it is? I don't know anymore. Let me have a look. Yeah, in fairy touch of magic because I worked on it last night. Paul was watching the European football say when he watched it and I coloured it for pretty much the entire time and all I've got now are the bees wings and some flowers so that's it so I'm hoping I'm gonna finish it tonight it's very exciting I love the picture I love the book um this morning the plan is I've got to get to Jennifer to nursery and then I am going to be painting her room that'd be fun wouldn't it so I'll take my stereo in a bottle of coke and a cup of tea shut myself away for a couple of hours and get as much done as I can I've got step ladders I've got paint I've got paint brushes there's nothing more I need a bit of music I'll be good to go so I'll show you what it looks like uh, when I start and then I'll show you um, my progress as I go on through the day so you'll get a bit more boring footage today of me painting <laughs> at least I'm feeling a bit better <laughs> I'm gonna have some breakfast I'll see you later okay, it's about half past eight and I'm in Jennifer's room start over here got my paint got my steps got my brushes got my stereo got a drink so I get this all done first and see how it goes. I'll check back in here later. It's about 10 past 10. I've got a coat on the wall. You can see it's a bit patchy in places where it's a different colour plaster underneath for some reason. But it is just a base coat for when we put colour on the wall. So Paul's booked off Friday so he'll be finishing off anything I don't get done today and tomorrow. I'm now going to start this wall. So as you can see, you can see where there are darker patches. That's where it's going to um, show through. So anyway, I better get back to it. Right, I've managed to get the first coat on. I need to do a bit of work behind the radiator, but it's time to go and get Jen. So I've got to go and get changed. I wash my hands and put the brushes in the thing. So tomorrow, day off, I'll be doing other things in the house, like my washing, sorting clothes, tidying up and that sort of stuff. Um, and then Paul's off on Friday, he's managed to get Friday off because he's got a doctor's appointment and then he'll come in and touch it up a bit. Try to do a bit behind there. So I'm gonna get this lot sorted, put away, go and get Jennifer. So I finished the room and I've picked her up and we're back home. <sighs> Washed the brushes out, put the lid on the paint, had some lunch, sorted out the washing, put all her washing away, sorted my washing away. And now I've had a shower and we're upstairs watching Peppa Pig. Say hey Jen. And Jennifer bumped her head at nursery today as well. <laughs> yes, she ran into somebody again. They were running around and the person in front of her stopped and she just went bang into their head. I hope their head's alright because her head's got a great big egg on it. I think she hit it in the same place she did yesterday as well and she got a bit of a bruise. So now I'm going to have a sit down, a coke. I'm just going to relax and tomorrow I get to tidy up the bedroom. Oh the joys. But at least I don't have to do any painting. Paintbrushes are dry and ready. Paul's going to do a bit on Friday, hopefully. It's nice. I feel accomplished. I've done something and I've had a shower. And now I can just relax with my baby for a bit. Get the washing sorted. I've got to put some in the dryer and another load in the machine. Well, there's a load in the machine. We're getting a new cooker on Saturday because ours, well, it's old and it came with the house and it was old then. So it plays up every now and again. It shorts out the electric. Well, it trips the electric. We put one hob on and it trips it out. And then the other day it, it tripped it out again. I thought, oh no, we're only going to have one hob. I tried another one, it was fine. So but we've ordered a new one. It's very nice. You might get to see it on Saturday. Yeah, so tomorrow I'll be having a tidy up here. I've got loads of stuff to go down. That's stuff for recycling. I've got eBay stuff I've got to sort out. And um, maybe photograph some of that just to get rid of it. And sort out my colouring stuff. Put it away. All done, Peppa Pig. Anyway.
Pig you like Peppa Pig, don't you? Bye. Yeah, so she's fine. She's banged her head again. Daft kid. But yeah, so I feel really happy at the moment. I'm absolutely shattered. My back and legs are killing me and my hands hurt from holding the brush. But that is fine. It is what it is. It's not something I do every day, so I'm not going to be used to it. But oh, every time I have to do something with my hands, it doesn't have to hurt. Anyway, I'm still going to colour tonight, mind. I am still determined to finish that picture in Fairy Touch of Magic. So I'll see you in a bit. Hey everyone, it's bedtime now. Well, it is for me anyway. I don't know what time it is. I really don't actually. Um, Jennifer's sound asleep in her bed. Um, it is, it's half nine, it's not late, it's just I'm shattered from earlier on. And my wrist here is absolutely killing me. My back's aching and I just feel tired. So I'm just gonna um, read a couple of pages, like a chapter of, uh, or two of the Green Mile and then head off to sleep. Tomorrow I don't have to do any decorating, but I will be tidying up uh, in the room, doing some colouring. I did a tiny piece of colouring today. I wanted to finish Fairy Tuck a Touch of Magic, but I'm left-handed and my left wrist is really painful. So I am uh, I only did a little bit, so I'll try and finish it tomorrow. I'm not that worried. It's, there's only, I've only got two flowers to do now and then it's all done. So, yes, I'm going to curl up, read a bit and go to sleep. I have actually been watching Doctor Who, The Spearhead from Space on Blu-ray, which is John Pertwee's first uh, story. Um, other than Peter Davison, who I grew up with, and David Tennant, who's my favourite of the new Doctors, he's my favourite. And I, I, like, I like them all. The only one I never really liked or enjoyed as much was Colin Baker. Um, I appreciate the story arc that they gave him, such as it was, because a lot of it was left undone when they fired him. Um, now but at the time after having Tom Baker and then Peter Davison and it was so tired it was very uh, jarring really but and yet Jodie Whittaker I'm kind of fine with I feel sorry for her because she hasn't had as good stories as I think she deserves I think she deserves much better stories um, although I did like Revolution of the Daleks the Christmas episode or New Year's episode we had with Jack Harkness and the Daleks on Clifton Suspension Bridge that's always a good thing so yeah I'm off to bed I will see you tomorrow Hopefully I won't be aching, I'll probably be aching even more tomorrow, let's be real. Um, but yeah, Jennifer's sound asleep and her room looks nice and she's got this uh, little night light and the stars go around in different colours and she's got the, oh, the blue one, she likes the blue one. And because it's white it just looks up really nice, it shows up really nicely now. So It's not staying white but uh, it won't be a very dark colour. I like the fact that it makes the room look bigger than it is. And it's she walked in we came up earlier and she went wow when she saw it she was really pleased so because she knows we've been going to do it so i'm going to rest my weary head in my nice clean bed because obviously i've changed the sheets i've done so much today it's unreal it's no wonder i'm hurting i still got more to do in the morning i got more washing to do and probably about another two loads i must try and do some ebay I'm terrible. I gotta do it. I got one to post it. I'll post it at lunchtime. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Night, guys. Morning, everybody. It is now Thursday morning. Jennifer's in nursery, and I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna tidy up. I'm gonna sort out some colouring supplies. Try and get them all organised a bit better. Colouring books are nicely organised. It's just the um, supplies are all over the place. I'm gonna try and sort that out after I've tidied up a bit. I've got some recycling to take down. My hands still hurt, my fingers are still stiff, my, my wrist's not too bad, it's my fingers that hurt from yesterday's uh, painting exertions. My legs are still a bit stiff, my back's fine now. Um, I definitely overdid it yesterday. Uh, I'm glad because it's looking better in there. Jennifer's, she went to sleep really quickly, she was happy enough, so she knows something's getting done now, it's looking nice and she's... <laughs> she was a nightmare to get ready this morning she got dressed no problem and then putting her shoes on she decided that uh, to put them on the wrong feet deliberately 
and I kept saying no that's the wrong foot darling it goes on that one she's like no 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 I said you can swap them over no they're fine I said they're on the wrong feet no 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 and this went on for 10 minutes so at least I didn't have to work today so I'm gonna put on excuse me some YouTube I'm just yawning and I'm gonna put on Steve Donahue he's a booktuber and a professional book critic uh, he's always fun to watch and is a good place to get recommendations for books if you know you, you, you will come across something you want to uh, read on his uh, his t his channel so I'm going to put him on in the background and just watch a few of him because I've missed a few lately and that's it really I'm going to crack on and I'll check in with you a bit later on I've got to go and check on my mum and dad make sure they're all right give my dad a break because obviously he's still looking after mum and he is, it's just nice for him to have a little break and not have to run after her and make tea and and stuff so Yes, promise the older you get, the harder the longer it takes to recover. Except for my dad, things just roll off of him, which I'm grateful for, very, very grateful. So, but I like everything's fine. Just gotta sort out this tip so I can get back to doing normal stuff and that. And I'm thinking about making some booktube videos. I always said I was going to do that last month and I never did. But they'll only be like one every now and again, review a book that I've read and let you know what I've read over the month. I can't go mad on it. I'm not buying books. I can't afford to. Um, I, I, I'm like maybe buy two books a month if that. But I read a lot more and I've got a huge stack of books as well so I don't need to buy any. When they, that, my stack gets a bit low then I might start topping it up. But, uh, yeah, I don't need to. I mean, I do buy the old book. Like, I bought the Titanic ones. They're on my to-be-read pile next to the bed. I've got the um, Images of America book. I've got a Jack the Ripper book to read. So I have got stuff to read. So I will be reading those shortly. I am working my way through the Green Mile. I was too tired last night to, to read anything. I literally just went straight to sleep. So I'm going to crack on so I can see you later. Bye, guys. So it's nearly time to go and get Jennifer and... Uh, I would never understand. But, you know, see how she is. I've got to get a few bits from the shop. And I've done as much as I can. My wrist is now hurting again. So, um, I don't think I'll be colouring tonight. I wanted to do a video, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Simply because this hand, this wrist is it's really painful again. So, I think what I'll do is I'll spend the night reading and try and get through the, as much of the green mile as I can because I really want to read that obviously I'm, I am reading it and I also need to check on the list to see which the next one is I'm not sure it might be one I've got and I was going to replace them with ones I haven't read um, but I think I might take a king break I do want to get it which isn't on the list for this year I really want to reread it um, I read it years and years ago but I'm also thinking it's a huge tome so and I don't want to leave it from one month to say March until July when perhaps the next missing is um, so I might get it I might not I'll, I'll see how I'm getting through the rest of the stack of books on my bedside I would like to get that down I've got um, pictures from the abyss Jean Harlow Stephen King a book on the princes in the tower, a book on uh, one of the images of America, two Titanic books, yeah there's quite a big stack, then there's the Agatha Christie book which I'm just reading in bits because it's huge and then I think there's a book, book of poetry maybe or is it, I think it's Thomas Hardy actually, I think it's The Return of the Native, is The Return of the Native? might be um which i might get to i might not i've been watching steve donahue all, all morning i did drop off to sleep at one point when my wrist was hurting i just and my eyes went really heavy and he's got such a lovely soothing voice the only problem is he makes my tbr go up so high um that uh, it it's care it's scary it makes me want to buy books and uh, yes some of the times it's books he's read so for instance the Titan one of the titanic ones was one he picked up at the brattle which is a bookshop a second-hand bookshop where he is now i don't have a second-hand bookshop nearby and even if i did it would be closed because of the pandemic nothing's open here but i have got plenty of books to be going on with uh so tonight um because my wrist is hurting even i'm holding the camera it's really aching holding it's like ah 
I am going to try and at least finish one of the books on my bedside. It might even be the pictures from Abyss, which normally I would have devoured that in one go and it would have gone away, but I haven't yet. So let me know if you are interested in me doing the odd booktube video here and there, because if you are, I will, and, and I'll just tell you what I've read and, and, and what I think. They're not going to be huge videos. It's going to be one a month, maybe one a week, at the very most, if I read something amazing that I need to tell you about. Um, which is not likely to happen until January 2022 when Michelle Morgan's new book comes out. Marilyn book. Unless something really good comes out, you never know. So, and I might at some point start a reread of Terry Pratchett. I did start last year and I haven't, uh, I never got very far other than the first few pages of Colour and Magic. So that's actually sitting next to me over there somewhere. So you see there are books everywhere in this house. Well, in this room anyway. If it's not colouring books, it's, you know, it's Jack the Ripper. There's some Hollywood ones. I know you can't see them very well, but I... I am a bookworm and I blame my, my father for that and my mum. But more my dad because he used to read to us all loads of times. Um, he started it. I've got tons of books on top of uh, two bookcases over there. On top of my Marilyn bookcases that have not been read. And I would like to read them because I'd like to clear it off to put other books on. You know, books I have read. I have got books in the master bedroom which is where Paul sleeps and uh, you know he snores a lot so if he snores too much I come in here because <laughs> I can't sleep with any noise I can't if it's too I'm, I'm under the duvet I'm a bit cold I'm going to get, go and get Jen in a minute but I um there are books in there I haven't read and there's even a shelf of um tightly packed books downstairs I haven't read I am a book hoarder. I'm a book hoarder too I'd love a big house. I could just fill it with books. And then, of course, there's all of Jennifer's books as well. She's got lots of books too. Anyway, I better go. I've got a bit of shopping to do. I'm going to go and do that. And uh, then I can pick her up. I will see you soon. Back from picking up little Jen. There she is with a big bruise on her head where she ran into somebody yesterday at nursery. But she's got a bad bum bum. She's a bit bummed up. So I've got some cod liver oil and orange. She's had a dose of that and she's okay. And now we're going to watch BB Man, aren't we? Which is T-Rex Ranch. I'll probably Peppa Pig. Got some drinks and uh, we'll be okay. I was going to do roast lamb dinner today, but my hands are still killing me, so I can't peel the spuds. So um, it might happen tomorrow. Anyway, we've got a few days on it. Ooh, there's a surprise. What have we got? Jennifer's being intelligent now, aren't you, darling? You're looking at a brochure on Cardiff Castle. But she's been pulling the books off my bookcases, and it's the history one, so she's picked up one of the guides. Uh, I go to Cardiff, I go to classes, I like to pick up guides on their uh, various books. Like I've got Tim Padgel here, and I've got St. Michael's Mount, I've got one on this one. Uh, the Minnick Theatre, Raglan Castle, the SS Great Britain, there's probably some more somewhere. I usually pick them up in various places where I go. Royal Observatory Greenwich, Cutty Sark, I love the little guidebooks. Mm. She's looking at the pictures and she realises that I'm reading uh, pictures from the abyss. Hey everyone, it's Thursday night. Um, Paul and Jennifer both sound so blessed. She gets a bit narky when she's tired and plays up, but she's fine. She went to sleep all right. Um, I put a video up, which was the flip through the colour in heaven, which I always do when it comes in. It's a good way of looking at the pictures as well. I really like it. Um, my hands are still hurting. My arms, are, my wrists are still aching. I must have really overdone it the other day. So I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to watch a bit of Steve Donahue. And... Um, for about five or ten minutes and then I think I might actually um, read a book. I've left one book downstairs for which is a Stephen King for tomorrow afternoon after work and I've got my Jean Harlow one up here to read if I want to. So plenty to read, plenty to do so I'm gonna crack on and head off to bed because work tomorrow. All my eBay listings have dropped off, all the ones I didn't put up because I 
they haven't dropped off they're still there they've saved us drafts but all the, some of the photographs have dropped off which means i've got to pull it all and re-photograph it it's just me for being lazy it's my own fault so what will happen now is i will draft the next lot measure it because i've not measured it yet and then put them live and when i take those images uh, those items up to store them in the box i'll take my phone with me and i'll pull all the stuff that needs to be re-photographed it'll take me half an hour with that because all the work's done on it it's just i've been too lazy and it's something i've got to get back to doing because i'm not making any money and i'm gonna be in the red again this month and it's my own fault so i will crack on with it anyway i'm off to bed i will see you soon bye guys good morning we finally made it to friday so i'm just setting up to start work and um Paul's off today, so we'll be doing a few jobs around the house. But uh, yeah, Jennifer's at nursery. She didn't want to get up, but she's all right now. And yeah, I'm just going to start work. I'm really warm. Whew, it's all that rushing. But uh, Friday. I'll see you when I finish. It's raining. It's not nice out there. It's tea time. I We've been having fun, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, now we're watching sort of weird stuff on YouTube right. and we're going to have pizza for tea. Here's my you bringing that pizza? Blue. What color is it, Jen? Blue. We also have. So, Jennifer's got sausage and chips, and, and Paul's got a weird pizza, haven't you? Was it you got Mexican? Mexicano. Mexicano. Hey everyone, it's Friday night. Um, everybody's in bed. Jennifer's sound asleep. Bless her. Paul's just gone in the other room. I've come in here to watch TV. It's not that late. It's about nine o'clock. But I am almost finished with Green Mile. So I'm going to try and finish that tonight. Watch a bit of TV and just chill out. Once I've read that, I'm trying to finish the Jean Harlow book. I think it's on the, it's here somewhere. So that's my plan to finish some of this stack here. So once I've done Jean Harlow, it'll be Princess and Tower. So yeah, I'm going to crack on. I love reading. I love books. I'll see you tomorrow when it's Saturday. Hello, everybody. Two bubbles. Two bubbles. It's Saturday. Here's Jennifer. Here's your Jennifer thing. Oh, you've got uh, Marshall there from Paw Patrol. And Rubble. I had to think of his name then. Our new cook is here. Do you want to see it? There it is. All bright and shiny and new. I'll have to try that later. Yay! So it's Saturday afternoon and myself, I've got my dressing gown on because I'm actually cold, so I'm not feeling 100%. Myself and Jennifer have been making a birthday card for Nana. It's not finished, but I will show you it. Watch out, Jen. So we've got lots of crafty stuff. I pick up things every now and again. She got some card and glitter and stickers and tissue paper. So this is what we've done so far. So we've done this on the inside with some glitter and a heart. We've put some stickers on. And then we've done the outside. We've put some stickers on and a birthday cake. And there's a little space there because, I don't know where she's put it, we made a little flower to go on the top. It's not very good. I'm not very good at making things, I will be honest. But that's what we've been doing this afternoon. I'll show you it when we've finished. And it's been fun. We've been playing with the glitter. And it's got lots of different colours. And we've just used the red. No, we've used the pink. We'll use the red later. And got white. In fact, they sent me two tubs of white. They sent me two extra tubs. A white, an extra white and an extra silver, which is really nice. So, yeah. So we are making, excuse the mess in the background. That's all my colouring and printing. So we're making all that. But we're just having a drink now while we wait for the glue to dry, aren't we? Aren't we, Jen? Yeah, get off the table. We're going to drink our drinks. Come on. And I'll show you the finished result when we've done it. There we go. We finished Nanny's card. We've got butterflies and dolphins and fish on the outside. And there's a sort of a birthday cake and a flower, sort of a flower. <laughs> and then inside we've got a puppy and a kennel. More butterflies, more fish, a pink heart. So yeah, so that's for Nanny's birthday tomorrow. Now we've got to clear up all the glitter mess. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Saturday night and I've got a killer headache. Um, so I'm off to bed. I don't know what time it's about. I'm past 10, 11, I don't know. Um, 10 to 11 actually. Uh, we've been watching something on YouTube. Um, oh, you can see my red my face is all killing me up here. Um, so we've been watching this guy uh, named Ben Crystal. On, he's an actor on, on YouTube. He um, 
is talking about what they call a original pronunciation. So you have what they call is received pronunciation, which is what they call the Queen's language. Yeah, received pronunciation, the Queen's English. So that's very posh. I'm talking like this now, very much Vivian Lee and Florence Olivier. Um, original pronunciation is pretty much what we talk normally. Um, so not natural accents. So my natural accents is a mix of Welsh, West Country, Midlands, London, a bit of received pronunciation because I went to drama school. Very clear speech. Um, no, the original pronunciation he refers to is the original pronunciation of Shakespeare. So how Shakespeare and his actors would have performed it back when it was originally performed and how reading it in received pronunciation you don't necessarily get all the jokes and puns because there are a lot of them because things um were pronounced differently back then i mean language evolves quite rightly so um but shakespeare does not have to be spoken in this you know to be or not to be that is the question you can just say it in to be or bit not to be that is the question and it was also a lot faster as our normal speech is a lot faster we talk quickly when we're talking to people it's a natural pattern whereas a received pronunciation is very slow very deliberate um and he t they've sort of worked out 90 percent of how it would have sounded back then so for instance uh Line was pronounced the same as loin, so it was loin, loin. I'm not very good at it, but I am going to try and learn a bit more about it. Um, proved, uh, rhymed with loved, so it was proved, loved, not proved and loved, proved and loved, proved, proved and loved. And this work got faster. It was a mix of accents because these actors came from all over the place. It's absolutely fascinating. Um, I actually put a link to it on my Facebook page. But if you just uh, type in uh, Shakespeare original pronunciation, you'll get a load of videos on it. It's really interesting. And this guy's name is Ben Crystal. And what we watched was him and his dad on one, which was an open university piece, which was very interesting. And then uh, him doing a presentation in New Zealand at a university. Absolutely fantastic. Very interesting. Um, so, yeah, that's my new interest at the moment is uh, at Shakespeare and how it would have been originally pronounced. I, th I think it's very fascinating. So I have ordered one of uh, the books that Ben and his dad have written. I think it's Ben and his dad, but it was only like, like less than four quid on, on Amazon with free shipping second hand. So that's fine. Um, just because I want to read something about it just to, to see. And I've got a audio book of um, Shakespeare speeches in the original pronunciation to listen to as well because uh, obviously I'm an audible member so I get uh, one credit a month and I, I, I've i got I had seven now I've got six because I don't do it unless it's something I really want so well, I was wondering I've asked this before I'm reading a lot more now do you want me to do some sort of booktube video every now and again just it'd be a, a front a face to camera one talking about the books I've read of the month uh, what I'm hoping to read in the next month I'm happy to do that if you want me to if you think you're watching if you're interested in what I'm reading especially when I, I read certain things that aren't necessarily these cozy fictions which I do love about things like books on Shakespeare Jack the Ripper and uh, Hollywood stars I've got one on the princes in the tower up there um, I've got Titanic, you know, if I read them, would you be interested if I did some of those videos? Because I did start off this channel as a booktube channel and um, when I had Jennifer I stopped reading so I just didn't have the time to read and make videos. I wasn't buying as many books as I've got so many because I wasn't reading them. Now I am reading more. I, I feel like something I might be able to do. I'm not buying a lot of books. I don't need to. Um, but I'm thinking of just putting them up if you're interested in what I'm reading. I mean, I can wrap it up very quickly in, a, in one of these videos or I can make a video dedicated to it once a month, twice a month, you know. Let me know because um, books are one of my first loves. Books, films, colouring obviously is amazing. But books, films and music are my main things. Just just let me know if you are. And uh, But I'm off to bed because I'm trying to try and get rid of this stinking headache. Um, I've taken um, some Sudafed. <laughs> Bit of sinusitis and I'm gonna go sleep. Luckily Jennifer is sound asleep next door in her room and hopefully she is gonna stay that way.
so I'll see you tomorrow. It's Sunday, it's my mum's birthday. So I'll be popping a present down to her, but I won't be... Well, that looks bad. I don't even know what that is. Um, popping in or anything due to restrictions, but uh, we will be popping a card down in a present. Um, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hey, everybody. It is Sunday. It's my mum's birthday. It's the 21st, so... It would have also been Alan Rickman's birthday. But there you go. Um... Gonna go shopping a bit and then pop down with her presents and cards. Um, but it's gonna be a quiet day. Already been playing with Jennifer, playing with play doh making bubbles, stuff like that, watching TV. A bit of a headache, but it appears we've cleared up a bit now. She's be yawning at you. <coughs> it is what it is, I can't help it. And then I've got, colouring wise, I've got two patterns on the go. I'm gonna try and finish those. Um, I did want to start one in the new Kirby book, so I might pull that out. I'm going to film my colouring chat tonight, so you're going to be two videos going up tomorrow just simply because I want to do a colouring chat, so I don't mind that, that's fine. We've got a new broadband speed now, because we've upgraded our connection and put um, BT on our Virgin, so I haven't uploaded a video yet, so it'd be interesting to see how quick it actually is because sometimes it takes forever to upload them and i don't know why but hey we'll have to find out um so yeah i'm gonna crack on um reading wise i'm reading a book obviously on my kindle and i'm trying to finish the gene harlow one and uh pictures of the abyss by the end of next week which of course is payday yeah so, I've, like I said, I'm working on the stack by my bed, um, other than the Agatha Christie one, which I just read every now and again when I feel like it, because it's so huge. I think when I finish 